Hi, with my tin pot recording equipment, I like to have a few minutes of your time. My name is Shibli Raman. Some of you will know of my existence from Twitter or Facebook. You may have even met me in real life. I would just like a few minutes, minutes of your time. I've always felt that anything can happen to anybody at any time and my heart goes out to you if you can think of things which have brought you particular sadness this year. I entered a coma in 2007 due to bacterial meningitis. I had been resuscitated from a cardiac arrest by the emergency on-call team at the Royal Free Hospital in Hampstead, here in London. From that experience, I became physically disabled. But it is true I owe my life to the National Health Service. I had been an alcoholic. I've never touched a drop of alcohol for about seven years now. I'm now being regulated by the General Medical Council, the GMC. I went, in fact, back to Manchester several times for this purpose of restoration this year. I'd like to thank Martin Rathfelder for looking after me then during this anxious time for me. It was also nice to be recognised by a Twitter follower, in fact, outside Starbucks. That had never happened to me before. Hello to Carly. I tell London cab drivers all the time, it's not how you fall, it's in fact how you get up. I'm now also regulated by the lawyers, in fact, the Solicitors Regulation Authority. I have told friends in private that being back on the medical register is the biggest honour of my life. I indeed love the medical profession. I welcome the publication of that independent report of unexpected deaths of doctors awaiting finished practice outcomes from the General Medical Council. I know myself of two doctors who died during this painful period. I am aghast how little attention there has been to this monstrosity in the mainstream media. But I am not altogether surprised at the media or the journalism standards of today. I would nonetheless like to go into happier times for me at this very second. Having completed my pre solicitor training last year at BPP Law School here in London, I've been asked to become a member of the Board of Governors for the BPP Students Association. As it happens, BPP Law School has trained up most a lot of the members of the Queen's Council, uh, the high echelons of the legal profession. That is, of course, a real honour for me. And next year, I hope that the BPP University College will take part in the National Student Survey. It will be valuable for us, I feel, but I treat this as a learning process. I have no doubt BPP will shine through his process though. I love the legal profession too. But I have become dismayed at the murder of legal aid and the fact that barristers have been completely exasperated by the way in which they have been treated by the current government. I had tea with Gary Sla Professor Gary Slabber twice in fact this year. Uh, I was putting the world to rights. 
on subjects ranging from conflicts of interest to conspiracy theories. I've got a lot of time for Gary's enormous intellect. This year also reconnected me with dementia as well as a medical professional. I'm particularly grateful for the clinical lead given by Professor Alistair Burns up in Manchester. I did my PhD in dementia elsewhere at Cambridge with John Hodges. I later did my junior medical job at the National Hospital for Neurology and Neurosurgery at Queen Square under Martin Rosser, Professor Martin Rosser. I have the utmost of respect for both of them. This year, though, has seen a fault fast with me and conferences due to dementia, or uh, 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 involving dementia, rather. At the beginning of the year, I was resolutely against turning up to any conferences. For me, conferences had become synonymous with selling things. Nonetheless, I've had a wonderful time this year being invited to various conferences. I loved, for example, the Alzheimer's show, both here in London and in Manchester. I went to Copenhagen this year for the Alzheimer's Association conference in Denmark, obviously. I was there at Copenhagen with a book stand. I've had good feedback on my book, Living Well with Dementia. At its peak, in fact, it reached number three on Amazon. This Living Well with Dementia, rather than being a slogan, is the name of the 2009 English Dementia Strategy as co-authored by Professor Subi Banerjee. I met Subi twice this year, in fact. Uh, once having been invited by my protector pal Lisa Rodriguez down to his inaugural lecture of at the Brighton and Sussex Medical School uh, as Professor of Dementia, Professor Subi Banerjee. This gave me enormous pride not least because it was close to where my father, late father, had been GP. I went to see Charmaine Hardy and Cl- Hardy clan earlier this year in Robertsbridge. So a special hello to Charmaine too. And secondly, I met Subi at the Dementia Action Alliance Conference the other day in fact at Westminster in the Methodist Central Hall. That was in fact the same venue where I had the written exam for the diploma of the membership of the Royal College of Physicians in 2004. I passed that. It's the same venue as my graduation ceremony for the Master of Law, and I passed that too. It's the same place where Clem Attlee organised a rally after winning the 1945 general election. I wasn't there that. For that election, by the way, a different person had asked to finish the job. That man who was Winston Churchill, beware of toys offering gifts. Methodist Central Hall is also the same place. I met Andy Burnham, and I'll I'll just say something about Andy. Um, It's incredibly important at this time to give the NHS proper funding and care too, the one and the same for me. One part of the service impacts on the other, as many people know. I had the pleasure of meeting Andy this year at a local meeting of the Labour Party down in Southwark. My good friend Tom Flynn had invited me there. I think that whole person care will be pivotal in health and care when it's finally introduced by the Labour government. Health and care services fundamentally depend on each other. When one is in chaos, as one is at the moment, the other quickly falters. 
This is not uh, an electoral issue. It's actually a matter of life or death. I'm sick of people not appreciating the gravity of this. But back to Tom Flynn. And Tom knows my friend Joss Spell, who's become a very good friend of mine. Joss, I feel, really understands what I care about. I also met Chris Roberts and Jane Goodrick, first of all in Manchester. Since then, we've become very good friends. Indeed, I then met Chris and Jane at the Alzheimer's Europe Conference in Glasgow, the city where I was born. That conference was on dignity and autonomy in dementia. I was generally impressed by all the people there, especially, of course, Agnes Houston and Donna. I learned loads of them. I, I think we moved a long way from tokenism, I hope. We moved on to a policy uh, driven by a rights-based approach elsewhere, advanced by equality and enforceable parity. I met Helga for the first time. It's why I was born in 1974. Also, a special mention to Claire Lally, also from Glasgow. Uh, I met Tommy Whitelaw on the Clinical Research Day first time. These are magnificent people and really dwarf anything you've done. To somebody who, who totally dwarfs me is Grace, Kate Swaffer. It's not that Kate remembered my birthday, nor that she has in fact told me the majority of what I know about dementia policy. Nor is it the fact I'm completely in awe of Kate getting a distinction in the Masters of Science at Wollongong in Australia. It's much more than that. I hope to be saying true Chris, Jane, Keith, Pete and Boris next time around at ADI conference in Perth, Australia. I'm on the international board for that. I've reviewed about 50 to 60 posters for that conference. They were all of a very high standard. Next year, my trip was to Oz comes before the time of publishing my book, Living Better with Dementia. Chris Roberts, in fact, suggested the title, and I'm honoured Professor Alistair Burns will be doing the main forward. I'm honoured Jessica Kingsley Publishers are publishing my book, so I'll leave it there. Uh, it wasn't a bad year for me. I've only blocked a few people on Twitter, and there's conversely some brilliant people on Twitter I've met. Jenny Middleton, editor of Nursing Times, Mandy and Alex Andrew, both Spurs supporters, Comrade Nick Cohen. I find Ryan Round Robbins very nauseating, in fact, about telling me how wonderful people have been over the last year. I, I saw my circle of friends plummet a few years ago, but I didn't want to say. Thank you for all your friendship and for how much support you've given me, especially how much you've taught me. Hello, my name is Dr. Shibli Raman.